All right. After I did number four, Tom Segura. Oh man, the next day I had the worst sore throat and a cold coming on. Then I did Bert Kreischer. Worst migraine headache I've had in years. Just laying down, just suffering in pain. You know what? I think it's these worst of the worst comedians. Uh, somehow, every episode I do, and the worst they get, somehow their badness, their worstness, is like somehow mopping into my body. So we got to get this over with. And this guy is probably going to give me AIDS. Maybe that's what we should call Jim Jeffries. He's number two on the list. You know, the thing is, as we mentioned before, you know, the list is kind of like uh, commensurate with their fame levels, right? So Jeffries is someone who should not be nearly as famous as he became and is probably soon not going to be. Why is he on the list? Reason number one, he's Australian, okay? Now, that alone is, maybe it is, maybe that just gets you on the list. Listen, Australian people, let's have a quick talk. You know, some 20 years ago, and you guys had lame comedians, and then you'd have to, then you'd say things like, uh, you know, it's really dry, it's so dry that most people can't understand. And then we'd play along, and we felt kind of bad for you because you didn't really have that many funny people. Okay, and then you guys figured out that you were lame, so you went the opposite way. Yeah, pe people don't get Australians don't give a fuck. They'll say any disgusting thing. Right, okay, so just being a jizz comic, what is that? Somebody recently told me Jim Jeffries, well, he is quite the edge lord. He'll shock you. So, you know, he's not for everybody, that's for sure. A little too strong for some people. What are you talking about? He's talking about a little pleasuring himself. No, you don't necessarily get on the list because you're like a sport, like a trust fund kid. Um, so I don't know why I'm even saying that. But anyway, that's what he is. He's a upper middle class enough that he didn't have to do anything but choose to become an actor. Oh, oh dear. He's going to be a famous actor. I think that wasn't necessarily going well for him. Uh, decided to act like a stand-up comedian. And being that he's a soft trust fund kid, I guess we got confused a little bit on like what's going on. Just like a lot of the his Australian audience. Like his thing is he's a he comes out as a bad he's a bad boy. He's a badass. He he's a bikey. He's look at his leather jacket, his you know, his wind worn leather jacket and his smoke hanging out of his mouth and he don't give a fuck about nothing but then he wants to talk for like uh, all he wants to talk about is how he makes himself jizz and the little pleasure feelings he get and how he poops and he wants to play with his poop and then make himself jizz and play with toys on his penis to get little his little yummy uh, cummy feelings this is a contradiction people if you are a bad you're a badass Hey, I don't care nothing. I don't need no comforts. I don't need all these fancy little things. Oh, then I want to talk to you about an hour about how little toys that I buy to play with my pee pee. What? That doesn't work. Uh, what else is he on here for? Uh, vomit comedy. And he does a lot of feces. He was a, a jizz and poop comic. Um, something else Jeffrey's got a little bit of trouble for. I think he would watch American comedians or whatever, listen to their recordings. And this is maybe a little before the internet was, before everyone had the internet and everything was on the internet. And I think Jeffries thought, well, what I'll do is like, I'll just take jokes from other people, from other jizz comics, but it, it's okay because I'm just gonna do it in Australia. I'll just do the Australian scene. Like, I don't know, I guess he thought that was how it works. Reddit teen atheist edgelord. Oi, he, here's a question. He, if Noah's Ark is that's supposed to be true, then 
Why why are there only marsupials in Australia? That kind that level of just shitbag fifteen year old You'll notice some of I got about four uh, teen atheist edgelords on here. Uh, you that is not necessary. It's one of those things where it just happens to be. If you're one of the worst type of people, you gravitate towards the worst kind of beliefs. Just like being a privileged a uh, privileged kid, a trust fund kid, often born to media parents who are the industry, like a George Carlin. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be a bad thing. You don't. That doesn't have to work against you. But it just turns out that a lot of the worst ones, that does happen to be part of their life. I don't know, I might edit this part out. Uh, what the hell else is this fucker on here for? Like, it's really... No, seriously, his stand-up act is not good. It's even worse if you remove the the jizz and poop comedy jokes that he just took from other comedians. Jelly, his Jello, Jim Jello Jeffries. No, he's a, he's a he's a vacant soul, just full of rotten milk that just pours itself into anything. He sells himself out. That's another thing, by the way. You, you're the bad boy. You're the bad boy of comedy. I ain't. Now he's a male feminist. Uh, Commie Central uh, offers him, you know, to sell out and become one of these uh, social justice warrior uh, woke. Anyway, so male feminists proved that he would do anything. He'll just do anything and say anything and be anything to anyone if the money's right. So that's the all lies. We're not necessarily against someone because he's an actor you know, he's an upper middle class actor boy who's playing a character on the stage. Okay, fine. But again, Jeffrey's one of these guys, he's all lies. What he told somebody, what happened in the industry. If he's even telling you about how this was kind of a character that I did, that's probably a lie too. He was caught doing the usual thing where they get like some uh, right wing type re-edit it to make it look like he, the guy was a racist. In this case, Avi Yemeni. That was probably a mistake. And he did sort of a farewell tour. And it was not well received. You know, even after all he's learned, years later goes right back to, you know, put the, the poop and the shit in my mouth and then I shit in the toilet and then cheesed on my face and what, what even the stupid fuck faces that thought cringe comedy was awesome 10 15 years ago they're not even there anymore if you're still not convinced this person is hot garbage feel free to take a look at a great little documentary that was called I don't remember what it is, but uh, I do believe Beige Frequency has a great name because people remember that. And he describes Jeffries as a cuttlefish, a sneaky little squishy male fish. And it, when it wants to rape the female, it pretends to be a female, sneaks in underneath and then starts raping him from below. Jim Jeffries is the cuttlefish of comedy and of life. Hey, between this one and the number one, I think I should do a little also ran. I can think of a few more that could be, really could have just as easily been on this list. But until then, Jim Jeffries, your number two on the worst of the worst comedians list. Why don't you go fuck right off?